Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I got a cool one for you. We're going to be talking about Call of Duty Zombies. Now people that know me, they know I'm a big fan of this mode and we're going to be talking about a challenge that we have in one of these. So the challenge we're going for today is going to be Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and it's going to be one of the Dark Ops challenges. If you don't know what a Dark Ops challenge is, it's basically where there's a challenge but the requirements are hidden until somebody does it and then when they unlock it then they can you know spread the word and everyone else can try it out. The one we're specifically going for today is called the Anvil. Now the Anvil Dark Ops challenge is basically you need to exfil having only used melee weapons. All right. So in this video, I'm just going to let the game where I completed this challenge play in the background and you know get, tell you how I pulled it off. All right, so the number one thing to note, spawn in with a melee weapon. So I spawned in with the cane because I was working on this camos. I've got a lot of the uh, melee weapons plague diamond in this game, so that's cool. That's cool. But I still got a few more I got to work on. I ended up getting the cane uh, plague diamond in the same day I got this challenge. But anyway, moving on. Now I am doing this in 2022. And this is after the super quest was released, where if you complete all the main quests in the game, you will get a nice purple upgrade to your weapon. Uh, sorry, basically, if you complete all the quests and you do this one thing in Outbreak, you get to have all your starting weapons when they spawn, when you spawn in, they're going to be at purple rarity. So they're going to do a lot more damage. So that actually did kind of help. I did, have not tried this with a just, you know, base melee weapon because I spawned with the purple one. So that helps. Now... You cannot get any kills that aren't melee kills. Now, where this is gets interesting, nukes will screw this up. So don't grab any nukes. That's hard because sometimes you stab and they just kind of like spawn into you. Uh, so just avoid them to the best of your ability. The other power up that can mess this up is going to be insta kills. You want to avoid picking up any insta kills. At least that's what the tips on the subreddit were for me. So basically, for this whole game, I picked up zero nukes, I picked up zero insta kills, wasn't even going to risk it. Alright, go. I'm pretty sure it's fine for you to get like those bonus points, uh, double points, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, continuing on with our game, the other things you want to note is that I didn't use any equipment in here except for monkey bombs. Monkey bombs, for some reason, are perfectly fine for this challenge, which is really good because that's going to help you in the exfil portion of your game. So basically, my strategy, I stayed in the starting room for a long time. The starting room is a really good training spot. It's a great place for you to just kind of run around, get the melee kills, and you know, just have a good time. And what you're going to want to do is get enough points. You should, by the end of it, have enough points to easily open up the map, get to the power, turn on the power so you can access the exfil field. And you're going to want to exfil at the first available opportunity because it's just going to get harder from there. You don't want to have just a melee weapon going even even higher also if you do down you i think you can still use your self revive but do not fire any bullets because when you down it's going to automatically give you a 1911 and it's going to have bolts and you do not want to fire any bolts at this the strategy is once you get to the exfil you're just going to throw some monkey bombs which we will see later in the gameplay i'm letting the entire game play out just so you can see step by step how it was done like you know if you want to see it, I probably will end up speeding up the middle just a little bit, but you know, I'm going to let you see it. So then, the next thing we want to be talking about is the exfil process itself. Once you initiate the exfil, just run straight to the field. Use that monkey bomb that should clear out most of the targets, and then just mop up any remaining ones you have, and then hop into that chopper. And then it should tell you that the challenge is complete once you get into the like uh, you know post-game menus. And then I'll also show at the end of this video some footage of what this particular calling card looks like about, you know, the which, you know, the reward is a calling card. And, of course, the bragging rights of actually finishing the Dark Ops. And that's the kind of thing with me. Like, sometimes the rewards in Call of Duty challenges aren't the best, but for me, it's just the fun of doing the challenge itself. So, like, I had fun going for this. The whole reason I ended up going for this is uh, one of my friends was trying it. We tried it a few times co-op, and we couldn't get it, but... Finally, I was like, you know what, it's on. It's in my mind now doing this challenge, so I hopped into this solo game did it. I do recommend doing it solo. Uh, you can see my uh, friends' names are popping up in the top right corner of the screen. That's uh, I was in the party with them, so that's something else you can do. is just kind of party up with some friends, chill out, talk, and 
Absolute, have a good time. This is also a great opportunity to talk about just melee weapons in Call of Duty in general. I love melee weapons, and I love that a lot of the newer games have been throwing a ton of melee weapons in there. You know, most of the games will have like a knife or something in there, but I like it when they start throwing in the cool ones like swords, uh, sledgehammers, like I'm using a cane right now, like that stuff is really cool. I know Call of Duty World War II has a lot of cool melee weapons. This game has a good chunk of them. Uh, let's see, my favorite, my favorites in this game, you have the Wakazashi, you have the Sai, you have the shovel, you have the sledgehammer. I mean, there's so many good ones. And the reason I've got a lot of those Plague Diamond is because whenever they drop new melee weapons, you usually have to do a challenge to unlock them. So I'd use whatever my current mate, whatever melee weapon I had to work on. I'd use that. And then by the time I'd unlock the new one, the one I was using to unlock it would be really cool. Oh, excuse me. By the time I finished unlocking the new melee weapon, the one I was using to unlock it, it'd be really close to finish. So I just, you know, why not finish it off and go ahead and just finish up that challenge. I love being able to use camos and earn camos in zombies because zombies is where I spend most of my time in Call of Duty. Multiplayer is tons of fun. I really like multiplayer. Uh, Call of Duty has the two battle royales that I played the most. I played a ton of Blackout back in the day, and then I do hop into Warzone. Not very often, mostly just for events. But Zombies is really where it's at. I also, I love the campaigns. Like, most of the campaigns are awesome. Uh, but, basically, I spend a lot of time in Zombies because it's just so much fun. The loop is great. The rewards you get, uh, like, you know, in terms of the stuff you can unlock, at least in the newer ones, you can unlock some really cool stuff. Like, the Dark Aether camo, the final camo for getting, you know, uh... Plague Diamond on uh, all the categories for like the amount of base weapons. That camo looks really nice. I've not unlocked it yet. One of my friends is getting really close to it, and you know I need to hop back in and start working on it and get that finished off. But yeah, the melee weapons for zombies in this game they feel so good. The uh, feedback is good. The swing speeds are nice. It just feels nice to melee in this game. And that's why I hope they keep adding melee weapons to Call of Duty. Like, I just want tons of melee weapons. Because I enjoy using them in Zombies, but also in multiplayer. I really enjoy going knife in, in the multiplayer sphere. So, basically, it might take you a few attempts. Going melee only is a bit of a challenge, but trust me, you've got this. And the reason I'm including the whole game is just so you can see, like, start to finish how it was done. Like, you can see that I picked up no equipment. You can see I picked up no power-ups. And... You know, you can see, I guess, my training paths if you really care about it. But anyway, I do hope this helps you out with the challenge that you're going for. And, you know, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like button and, you know, stay tuned for more cool videos. Here, I just like talking about things that I enjoy. I just like talking about, you know, things that are fun. And sometimes, you know, we talk about more serious stuff. But for now, we're going to just talk about a fun video game, fun challenge. And, you know, I hope you enjoyed. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.